How to install a plugin. Installing a plugin into Final Cut Pro is simple and easy. You just have to know what folder to put the plugin into. There are four kinds of plugins, which are effects, titles, generators, and transitions. An effect plugin goes into the Final Cut Pro's effects folder. A title plugin goes into the Final Cut Pro's titles folder. A generator plugin goes into the Final Cut Pro's generators folder. A transition plugin goes into the Final Cut Pro's transitions folder. All the plugins folders are located in the same place. So, once you know where to put one plugin, you will know where to install all the other kinds of plugins. On the right is the path to install all plugins. Plus, Apple is constantly releasing updates to Final Cut Pro. Every time you install a Final Cut Pro update, Final Cut Pro deletes a third party's plugins. Thus, you will have to keep reinstalling most third party plugins. Plus, with the premium plugins that are self installed, you might have to delete these plugins and reinstall them to get them to work. The method I will show will allow you to reinstall all the plugins in 5 minutes. Thus, it will help to reduce future headaches. We are going to install this free plugin called Better Shapes. I will put a link to this plugin in the description below. First, create a folder and name it Final Cut Pro Plugins. Within this folder, create another folder and name it. Go in Generator folder. This way, you will know to always put these kinds of plugins into Final Cut Pro's generator folder. Within this folder is where you unzip the plugin. The plugin will create a folder with the plugin's name. Every time you reinstall a plugin, you should use the exact name of the original plugin's folder name. In this case, the original plugin's folder name is Better Shapes. This will allow Final Cut Pro to relink all the plugin's features to any video you created or started to create. If you do not do this, you will get a red error message saying that the plugin is not working. Then you will have to manually relink the plugin's features. The path we will use to install the plugin is show package contents, then contents, then plugin, then media providers, then motion effect, then contents, then resources, then templates, and last generators. Now, on your desktop, go to the application folder. Then right click on Final Cut Pro, then click show package contents. Now open the contents. Then open plugin. Then open media providers. Then open motion effect. Then open contents. Then open resources. Then open templates. You should see folders with the names effects, titles, generators, and transitions. So in the future, when you get plugins that is an effect, a title, a generator, or a transition, this is where you place a copy of the plugins folder. The Better Shapes plugin is a generator. Thus, we have to put a copy of the Better Shapes folder into the Final Cut Pro's generators folder. If you do not know if the plugin is an effect, a title, a generator, or a transition, then open the plugins folder and look at the extension. Then open Final Cut Pro's effect, title, generator, or transition folder and look at these extensions. The extensions should match. If they do not match, then the plugin does not go into that folder. Open the Final Cut Pro Generators folder and paste a copy of the Better Shapes folder in here. As you can see, this is where you put a copy of the plugin folder called Better Shapes. Now close and reopen Final Cut Pro. You should see the Better Shapes plugin under the Title and Generator section in Final Cut Pro. If this does not work, then duplicate a folder in Final Cut Pro's Generator folder. Then, delete the folder contents. Then copy and paste the plugin's folder contents into this folder. Then give this folder the same name as the plugin's folder. Please hit like, leave a comment, or subscribe. Thank you.